guys, it's the Real McCoy 411. <clears throat> Please excuse the way I sound. I am under the weather. I am sick. So since I'm going to be at home for the next couple of days, healing myself up, I decided to go ahead and give myself a deep conditioning um, treatment to my hair, which I have already going on here. And I did use <coughs> the Cantu Deep Treatment Mask. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and get all of this out of my head. And I did use a lot. And I used my little plastic bag here to soak it all in. <coughs> I sound horrible. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm going to go ahead, rinse all this out of my head. And I will be right back with you guys just to show you the routine that I use to take care of my 3C 4A hair. And I'm also going to talk to you all about why I think I'm going to stop labeling my hair as 3C 4A because I've just been learning so much stuff. So coming up is the nighttime routine for low porosity in order to get moisture, uh, moisturizing moisture into your head at night and it'll be there in the morning. It's just going to be a quick watch video. You cannot come in the shower with me. My husband don't play that. <laughs> okay, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I have thoroughly rinsed out my hair. As a matter of fact, I had to go back and I wanted to just, because I used the Biotin Boost, I went on and I made sure that I um, used that wash and that conditioner and got that in there as well. So my hair got a lot of extra moisture, but it needed it because of the styles that I've been trying. Um, since I am under the weather, I will not be using the LOC method. To, I will and I won't, kind of. Um, my hair is already damp, but... Because I have an upper respiratory infection and and tonsillitis and even have a little bit of strep, um, yeah, I'm not going to bed tonight with a wet head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the meal leave-in conditioner. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my hair while it's all ready damp okay and then I'm going to be using the blow dryer which is something I haven't used in a while but I'm going to be using the blow dryer and with the blow dryer hopefully that'll help seal that leave-in conditioner in because I can't I I I really I really shouldn't even be up guys but this is my journey this is my journey and and I want to explain that to someone because um someone had asked me about it and they was like oh well you know, do you teach people how to do this and teach people how to do that and I have to honestly say and I and I say I say it all the time this is my natural hair journey and I'm just wanting people to go along with me and take the ride with me and see how my journey turns out. You know, I'm going to be sharing information that I am going to be getting from other people, from other YouTubers, from books and all that. And I want to share that information with you guys as well. But no, I am, I am not a cosmetologist. This is the journey for my hair. So this is the journey for me to have healthy hair. This is the journey for me to have um, longer hair. And so when I invite people to my YouTube channel, it's so that they can watch my journey with me. And then if they are willing to say, you know what, hey, let me watch and see where this goes for her. And if this goes good for her, you know, maybe I could try that. Maybe I could try this. Maybe I could try that. That's the type of journey this is. I'm not a cosmetologist. I'm not a teacher. I am a human being that has 
natural hair that's going to take care of it until I hit my goals. That's what I am. And that's what my channel is all about. And it's just about me sharing the information with you guys. Okay? So I'm going to put this on medium heat. And I'm going to blow dry my hair. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to, I've already applied, applied the leave-in conditioner. So I know that you guys know all about blow drying hair of that nature so you don't have to witness this part okay guys thanks for coming back alrighty I went on and I blow dried my hair put my hair in sections once again I did use the meal leave-in conditioner this stuff smells so great and it is such a good thing for your hair I've combed out my hair I didn't have any tangles or anything like that um, it's soft it is definitely soft and i am seeing a lot of growth in my hair not from just this product um mainly i think because i'm just taking care of my hair and the bottom level of my hair um the shampoo and conditioner that i do use all the time is the biotin boost for thickening hair and i use the shampoo and conditioner and whenever i use it it's gentle enough where you can use it every day. It's good for natural hair. It's moisturizing. And I always use my little scalp brush with it. And it just makes my hair feel really good. And I think that's playing a big part in my hair growth as well. Not as much as it is growing. It is growing. But definitely the thickening. Because my hair right back here, you can't even see. And it's parted. I mean, my hair, I'm noticing the change in my hair okay so what I'm gonna do just to go ahead and get ready for um, bedtime and uh, once again guys I'm so sorry I'm not my normal you know dancing self and everything I just can't do it today I can't do it today but I'm gonna go and t make sure I take my meds and I've been taking my meds all day I'm going to make sure I go and get proper rest and so, so, so that I can do it. So that the people that want to be on this journey with me can be on this journey with me. Okay? So I have used um, the leave-in conditioner. Now I'm going to be applying a little Palmer's, which is another great brand. This is the coconut oil. Okay? This right here is the hair polisher serum. And it just gives your hair that shine. It helps with the shine. So I'm going to be using a little of that. And then I'm going to top it off with my leave-in milk. My Shea Moisture. And this is in intensive. I always have to look at that before I say it. Intensive hydration leave-in milk. This stuff works really good. So I have my hair in sections already. I'm not going to start in the back. I'm pretty much probably just going to go ahead and show you guys the front and then I'll do the back um, off camera. But just if you can go and look back at my first video at how my hair was. This is just unbelievable. And that's why, okay, back to me saying that I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and get started. But right now I'm just putting a little oil in my hand. That's why I, I, I have to say that this is my natural hair journey. If other people can learn things along the way, that's great. You know, that would be great that I can get some information to share with someone else that they can actually use on their journey. Because everybody's hair journey is different. And... I just want to, you know, this is something I just wanted to be with. I want to share it with everybody. I don't feel bad about that. Um, nobody's going to make me feel bad about that. Um, but, yeah, that's enough of that energy. So, if you can tell, growth is definitely happening. Um, the oil... It's applied all within. I had already used the um, 
a two comb. It wasn't a need for that because, like I said, it didn't didn't do any tangles. But very quickly, I'm going to show you all just to get started on what I do. Okay, and keep in mind that I do have low porosity hair. I have learned that about myself. And low porosity just simply means it's kind of hard for me to retain moisture. But the good part about it is when I do retain moisture, it's in there. It's in there for a while. So I did not use the warm water, but I did use the hair dryer on low heat to open up those pores and shafts and everything down in my scalp and all my hair follicles it opened all that up and now it's going to be able to receive and that's the part that I need and want the most so just moisture and tomorrow I will be going absolutely nowhere so the little nighttime routine that I'm doing right now will be in my hair until I go back to work. I will not be washing it out. This is considered my wash night. Um, even though, you know, with the Biotene Boost, even though with the Biotene Boost, you can use it every night. I mean, you can but I don't have to, but I can. You know, a lot of a lot of people, a lot of naturalists, you know, believe in the co-washing and, and everything. But the thing about it is when you have low porosity hair, your hair tends to um, have product buildup. And when it has, pro it has product buildup because, like I said, once the moisture gets in, it's in. So... It, it can tend to have a lot of product build up. A lot of product build up. And I'm really, I didn't know if I was going to put my little pineapple trees on here, if I was going to do these little twists. But I really think I'm just going to do a little, just leave a little twist because the hair band is going in after this. So, But, um, yeah. Um, oh, okay. And then I also want to talk to you guys about the, 3C4A hair. So I've been studying it and I've been looking and there's actually another hair pattern chart that's out there circulating around as well. And I'm like, okay, well, which one do I go with? And it's kind of hard to say because this is just a cream. I already put the coconut oil on here. The it's like an S curl or L curl or this curl or that curl. And I think the main thing that I have to know about my hair is that I have high density hair, low porosity hair. You know, that's what I think. Those are the main things that I need to know when it comes to my hair. Um, how to take care of those things. Are seem to be to me what's more important than a hair type because if I use a product I can't think of one just in specifically but let's just say Shea Moisture Shea Moisture I'm sorry I am sweating because I have a fever and this is crazy this is crazy for me to be doing this. And I know y'all thinking, this girl lost her damn mind. But I, I really, I just, it's part of my journey and I wanted to share it. Um, this, uh, okay, Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture has a line for high porosity. And then they also have a line for low porosity, Right? And then you're starting to, and then you'll start to see other things have low porosity, high porosity. So it's like I think whatever is going on out there in the natural world, the the products, the people that make the products are soaking it in. 
you know, I think they're getting paid off of it. Because before all of that stuff was around, back when everybody was natural and wore their natural pressed curl hair and all that kind of stuff, where we didn't have shea moisture and all that kind of stuff back in the days. You didn't have all these different types of things. You had that blue magic grease or whatever grease it was that your mom would use to press on your hair. And that was it. And you wore your hair natural. And that was it. And, um, I just think it's, it's, I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of these products do, I mean, like that, that meal, that smells good. Some of the stuff smells good and everything. And, and, but, I just think, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can talk on it just yet because I haven't really been in the in the game that long. But I I do know that when flaxseed becomes a big thing, then all the gels have flaxseed. When coconut oil became a big thing, everything had coconut oil. <laughs> When when it say no parabens, when they start saying no parabens, everything starts saying no parabens. It's like you really don't know what to get for your hair anyway. You really don't know because you you can look at the ingredients and what you, the flaxseed is not going to be the first thing on there. It's not first thing you're going to see on there is water. So that's why I was like I'm really using the. LOC method and then I'm really not because it, the water is already in my was already in my leave-in conditioner as a matter of fact the first ingredient in the leave-in conditioner and I know you can't see it and I'm not going to put it that close but it's water you know the first ingredient in my uh, Shea Moisture is water so it's not like I'm lead so if you don't do the LOC method then you're not doing it. You're not doing it right. And if you don't do the liquid, well, the, the water's already in there. It's just it's it's a lot, y'all. And I'm not. It's I think they are overdoing it when it comes to it because I'm finding out that just naturally taking care of your hair, being careful what you put in your hair, is what counts the most. That's what counts the most which products you choose to use for your hair is the products that you use like this Palmer's coconut oil I'm pretty sure they did not intend for it to mix with Shea Moisture and have like no reaction at all look at that no reaction no white no nothing extra soft gonna be oil. it's gonna be shining I mean I think I'm just venting. But in a way, you know I'm telling the truth. In a way, you know I'm telling the truth. Eco Style Gel. Eco Style Gel is the, was the bomb gel. It was the bomb gel. Still is the bomb gel. Then they came out with the Eco Style Red Cap. Then they came out with the Eco Style Gold Cap. Then they came out with the Eco Style Flaxseed. And then they came out with this kind of eco style. And this kind of, I'm like, I just like the regular eco style. The olive oil, the green one. That's the one I, lo I liked. But they, it's whatever is trending. And whatever's trending in the, in the natural hair thing right now is what you're going to find. My opinion. But again, this is my journey. These are my opinions. And this is my channel. So, but I am going to say just think about it. Just think about it. This one did something. This part, this one did something. I don't know what it just did. But I ran out of hair on one side. Way before I ran out of hair on the other side. <laughs> But I'm going to do the same thing, you guys, in the back of my hair. Um, and then I'm going to go lay down and give me some rest. And 
This is just the nighttime LOC method on dry hair. That's very moisturizing, smells very good, and it's very simple. Very simple. This part and these two parts, I'm going to go ahead and do off camera. And <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get this video uploaded for you guys. I'm going to review my products again one more time. I did use a blow dryer. I blow dried in my leave-in conditioner by Neil. Worked great. And then I used the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula as my oil, L-O-C method. And then, and that's another thing, L-O-C method, L-C-O method. Just as long as you put some oil moisturizer. <laughs> it's so much stuff. It's so much stuff. But hey, I use the intensive hydration leave-in milk by Shea Moisture. Those are the products that I used on my hair. I feel bad. Actually, I'm going to come back just to show y'all that I did do the back of my hair. But I'm going to take a break real quick. All right. Okay, guys. I told you I would come back just before I ended this video. I want you to see that I did complete my hair. It is all moisturized. It is all soft. It has... I'm not going to get too close. It has those three products in it. And I will put a picture of the products. Right now, Miss Charlotte got to go lay down. Alright, y'all have a good night. Keep me in your prayers.